today we're out here testing Halo in a live fire um, in collaboration with St. Stephen's Fire Department. A lot of what makes this data special to us and, and what we're doing here is we're actually streaming data from the, ho from the house back to our, our setup back here where we can analyze that data. So a lot of what we're getting in um, is allowing us to improve the response time as well as reduce false alarms. So the data we're actually collecting, we have a photoelectric sensor, which um, is primarily for smoldering fires. And so this fire being that it has a class A and no accelerators, allows us to really test the potential of that photoelectric in this scenario. So we installed Halo inside the house behind us in a control burn and collected data really just to see how well the device would function. Uh, the smoke detector had actually fallen to the floor but you could clearly visibly see the LEDs on the floor. There was no problem in seeing where the device was actually at. You know, sometime, you know, it may just be one time, but it may make a difference down the road somewhere. So being that we've looked around and really tried to identify how well our product can work, we noticed that a lot of other devices don't actually present footage or data that actually shows their device in an actual fire. Um, we aim to come out here and really set a standard for how well our device will work in the actual situation and it actually exceeded our expectations by a long shot. All the data points, the multiple smoke sensors, the CO sensor, temperature, humidity, all responded how our algorithm suggested they should and will be able to allow us to predict fires quicker and avoid false alarms.